Now that the insane rumors about Haitian migrants allegedly eating people's pets in Springfield, Ohio has been fully debunked, wannabe hillbilly and Ivy League sociopath JD Vance is encouraging his supporters to continue memeing about the big lie and he wants them to double down on it. Now before we get to the latest, here's what Vance and the Trump campaign were spreading before the story was fully debunked. So on X, JD Vance had posted, reports now show that people have had their pets abducted and eaten by people who shouldn't be in this country. Where is our border czar? And then the Trump Vance campaign sent out a fundraising email saying migrants have reportedly been caught decapitating ducks and hunting geese and other livestock in public parks and even kidnapping residents pets, then eating them. Again, this has been fully debunked. The claims led both the Springfield Police Division and the city of Springfield to release statements saying that they have received absolutely no reports that any of this has actually happened. Hey, don't scroll away, come back, come back. Because before the video continues, we just wanna urge you to lend your support to TYT. You power our honest reporting, you do it at tyt.com slash team and we love you for it. After it was debunked, JD Vance seemed to admit or concede that, yeah, maybe these claims are unfounded. On X, he posted, it's possible, of course, that all these rumors will turn out to be false. No, 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 not will turn out to be false. These are absolutely false claims, absolutely false. And it makes everyone reject anything people like JD Vance might say that might be legitimate about migrants or immigration when he's spreading garbage like this. Go ahead, Jane. So guys, we're gonna talk in a second about the real issues with immigration and the crime that is real. There are no issues. Okay, yeah, the leftists will say there's no issues at all. Everybody that came over the border is an angel. The right wing says everybody that came over the border is going to kidnap and eat your cat. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right of me. We're all stuck in the middle together, okay? So we're gonna tell you the reality in a second. But what is clear is JD Vance, even in that tweet says, well, it might be true or it might be false. <laughs> what a Republican says that. That means, oh, we're stone cold busted. It is definitely false to the point where I have to admit it might be false. So totally made it up and he still says, I just keep going anyway. Because you know what? Our lies are working pretty well. So let's scare the hell out of people with our demagoguery and lies. Oh, Later, they won't believe us when there's an actual problem with immigration, but who cares? Who cares, we're not trying to solve the problem. We're trying to demagogue and we're trying to get you to hate all immigrants. And that's the other part of his tweet that I is loathsome. So the rest of this thread that he posted said the following. Do you know what's confirmed? That a child was murdered by a Haitian migrant who had no right to be there or here. That local health services have been overwhelmed. That communicable diseases like TB and HIV have been on the rise. That local schools have struggled to keep up with newcomers who don't know English. That rents have risen so fast that many Springfield families can't afford to put a roof over their head. Well, to be fair, the cost of housing has risen sharply all over the country. And it's cute when you can tie it to your you know, pet issue of the day. But Americans have been struggling with housing Literally. for many, 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 many years. No pun intended with the pet issue. Anyway, go ahead, Jenk. Yeah, so uh, you see, did you catch what he did there? They're spreading diseases, classic fascist propaganda. The immigrants are the others, they look different, they have different culture and then they come in and eat our pets and then they're spreading diseases everywhere. Like fascist demagoguery 101. Now does he have to do it? No, he doesn't have to do it. He could actually tell you the real issues like there are actual Venezuelan gangs, MS-13, etc. that we're gonna tell you about that have entrenched themselves in some communities. By the way, why don't they focus on that? Why are they going to the a random murder of someone who happened to be Haitian to someone who wasn't Haitian when in fact there's tons of murders unfortunately that undocumented immigrants have done that they don't talk about? It's because most of those murders are in the immigrant community. And so that doesn't help J.D. Vance and Donald Trump demagogue. What they have to do is they have to make the all immigrants seem dirty and wrong and diseased and savages, right? So that's why they'll take a random crime and be like, look at this white woman who was murdered. Oh my God, they're all coming to get us. If they showed you the real crime, 
It's actually tons of other immigrants who are being killed. And they would be give a compelling case for us to do something about the actual problem. But they don't want to fix the actual problem. They just want a demagogue. And the latest version of that is, yeah, I was lying about eating the pets. Who cares? Now I'm going to go and lie and smear them as all immigrants are diseased. You disgust me, J.D. Vance. So I don't know if this is going to come up in the presidential debate today because a lot of this does feel strategized and kind of orchestrated by the Republican Party and in the lead up to this debate between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. So they did have a hearing today with victims of you know migrant crime and it included a lot of you know, migrants themselves who had been victimized by it. It also included a woman who heads an organization that provides support to victims of migrant crime. So you heard a lot of testimony today that Democrats had a difficult time kind of wiggling out of. But we'll see if that ends up being brought up during the debate today. The one thing that I will bring up is I wanted to know what he meant when he referred to, you know, a child that was murdered by a Haitian migrant. I mean, like be specific and the New York Times and CNN um, believe that it has to do with a specific case. Vance appeared to be uh, referring to an incident last year in which an 11 year old child was killed in a bus crash in Springfield involving a Haitian immigrant driver who had a foreign license that was not valid in Ohio. The driver involved though has been convicted of first degree felony involuntary manslaughter and fourth degree felony vehicular uh, homicide. Also, by the way, random Americans did that same exact crime dozens of times in Ohio in the same time period. But no, we're gonna focus on just the one Haitian immigrant who did the same thing. You wanna bring up all the guys that did DUI? You know who's from Ohio did DUI? Ethan Couch, remember that guy who said he had affluenza? He was too rich to know the consequences of his actions. I think four people died if I'm, if I'm remembering that right in that case. Did they make a giant big deal out of that? Nope, don't care because it's not about the victims. It's not about protecting you. It's about hating other people. So finally, his tweet says, his final tweet in this thread says, in short, don't let the cry, uh, cry babies in the media dissuade you, fellow patriots, keep the cat memes flowing. So just keep lying. Okay, well, JD, if that's the case, can we go back to the lie that was spread about you about the couch and how you like to have sex with it? And you like to do weird, perverted things on with couches, inanimate objects, you freaking psycho, okay? I have a now, feeling that that might have like played into his decision to encourage people to keep spreading the lie. No, he's always <laughs> a liar. He's lied about every single thing in his life. Like for example, he brings up the rent. Oh, The Haitians are driving up the rent. Oh, It's not your venture capital buddies? Because private equity, venture capital on Wall Street is buying up all the homes and driving up prices. That is an enormously bigger factor than immigrants. Immigrants are a factor, but the Wall Street community is a much larger factor. Oh, right, but JD Vance, you were a venture capitalist and you were part of that scam. So you don't want to talk about that. You, okay, and when they ask your running mate, Donald Trump, what do you think about housing prices? A Trump fan said, hey, rent's too high, I'm worried about my kids. He said, drill, baby, drill. The oil companies are giving me bribes. So I'm, what is drilling and oil and the bribes you're getting have to do with rent? Nothing doesn't matter. All he wants to do is serve his donors. So this whole Republican Party is a dumpster fire filled with crooks, con men, and frauds who don't care about any of the issues that they claim to care about. What they care about is, oh, we got found a bunch of guys here who will believe anything because they hate the establishment. So let's feed them a bunch of hateful dem uh, rhetoric so that they'll be just hate their fellow citizens so much that they'll vote for us con men who are actually billionaires and venture capitalists. Who are the ones screwing them in the first place? For the folks who care about the truth. So are there gangs that have come into the country and are terrorizing local communities that are from other places? Yes, definitely yes. And so the reason why the authorities and neither political party focuses much about them is because they mainly target other immigrants and migrant communities. So MS-13 has been in East LA for a long, long time, but nobody gives a damn, right? The Venezuelans are not only in Aurora, Colorado, but they have Venezuelan gangs in a lot of places where other Venezuelan immigrants have gone and they terrorize Venezuelan immigrants and now more and more Americans. But the Democrats say there is no problem and the Republicans say they're eating cats. So we never actually get to, hey, what are we going to do about that? How are we going to protect these people? How are we going to protect our citizens? 
from and once gangs get entrenched, it is very, very hard to root them out. And right now we have this laissez-faire attitude because of the two sides that don't actually want to solve it. That leads us to never actually solving this damn issue. So I'm disgusted by all these politicians. None of them actually care. They only use it for their own careers. And it, the rest of us have to somehow get to a point where we could fix the real problems that we have in this country without hating on each other.